Hello, good people. My name is Detroit Mirico, and I'm coming to you from a wonderful sunny day. And who needs Florida now if you stay in Michigan? Well, I have sad news to tell all of you, and I'm sure everyone already knows, but I have to say it anyway. The great artist extraordinaire named Tina Turner has passed away. I believe it happened sometime yesterday. Yeah. You know, when you wake up on days like this and your idols had passed away, then you know that they're going to miss out on a beautiful sunrise, a beautiful day, and a beautiful night furthermore but we hope that they go someplace much better than this and especially the real kind caring people that were so inspirational to us such as in the case with Tina Turner I grew up in the 70s and the 80s so Tina Turner meant a lot to me she was one of the few bright spots in my life besides family members and friends yeah, she was so spirited, vibrant, energetic, talented. She could sing and, and, and she she like got off on the that particular drug because she like entuned her whole spiritual presence to her performances and she gave it all. So when you watched her, you came away feeling satisfied. Well, that was my take on it. So with Tina Turner, we know she came from a humble beginning, I believe from sharecropper families in which were poor. And then she, with her incredible talent, she stood out and she hooked up with Ike Turner. And then she became an instant star, but not of a cosmic proportion like the Tina Turner that we knew would later become, you know, with the hair and the, the famous legs, the famous strut, all of that. But nevertheless, she she had star appeal even from earlier on in her career. And she performed with her husband. And then later after that, they got divorced because he was domestically abusing her. He was giving her a bad time, a horrible experience. And then she had to regroup and rebuild her career. She got out of that relationship with nothing and then she um, became an even bigger immense star celebrity worldwide. We know that, I believe she was a devout Buddhist. And she was in great shape. She was good natured. She was a stellar performer as an entertainer. She generally cared about people she she never she never projected a negative type of energy out in which would be synonymous with a bad attitude, bad behavior or any other things like that. You know, you only would have positive things to say about Tina Turner if you see her and met her. And that's the type of energy she projected out. You know, she was a, a good, terrific, very beautiful, kind, sweet lady. I know many of us feel that way about our deceased idols that pass along. We know that they are, they are not as a memorable as a family member or family members that pass away. Yeah, it's much more hurtful when um, you love somebody and then they die, but you love that person that you directly know that you can hang out with, you eat with them, go places, you know, experience holidays directly. But nevertheless, when you um, appreciate somebody of a celebrity caliber, that is, like I said, a major bright spot in your life. If I didn't say a major bright spot, I mean that now, you know, when you grow up, you have so many different experiences and all of them aren't good. 
So you sort of um, really cling to the positive, good experiences in your life, such as in the case where you would watch somebody like Tina Turner, or in fact, Tina Turner, who brings joy and happiness into your life through her performances. And, you know, she was all that way cool. She was incredibly beautiful. She had the hair. You know, no one ever did that. She had the best legs in Hollywood or anywhere else. You know, she was in great shape. She was at, as a peak performer. She could do a million shows and still keep that same energy level up. <laughs> yeah, she had amazing hits that they would play on the radio all day and all night especially when those songs were at the peak of their popularity. Yeah, I believe she was a good part of the 70s and the 80s, and especially the 1980s era. The 1980s decade was one of the best decades ever, clearly. It had like some of the best of everything that is so memorable that I cling to that. I try to cling to the positive parts of the 80s and not the negatives. And with that being the case, Tina Turner was on my positive side of memories and experiences. I didn't know her. I never met her. I didn't hang out with her. But I wished I had, <laughs> like many of you do. Well, Tina Turner, I would say, with the send-off, you, I hope you are blessed and rewarded in the afterlife and thanks for bringing so much joy to people's lives and rest in peace, little darling.